Bom dia a todos. Ih, tá muito fraco. Bom dia a todos. Isso, agora sim. Nós somos um pedacinho do Brazilian Piper. Hoje estamos aqui com vocês comemorando 100 anos. Essa unidade maravilhosa que nos tem acolhido com muito amor e carinho. Hoje estou acompanhado desse meu, meu melhor percussionista, André Perdigão. Eu, a Velagem, estou aqui também tocando a Megadeth de fone para vocês. E agora eu vou tocar só mais uma musiquinha para eu tomar muito tempo de vocês. Eu acho que algumas pessoas vão conhecer é da série chamada Game of Thrones.
everybody. How beautiful it is to see all of you sitting here today celebrating our school's birthday. Well done. Look beautiful. 100 years ago, to the day, Sir Alexander Mackenzie and a small group of British and British Commonwealth citizens established the British School Rio de Janeiro. Yes, today we proudly celebrate the British School Rio de Janeiro's 100th birthday. It has often been said that a small group of thoughtful, committed people can change the world. There is no doubt that what a small group of thoughtful and committed people began 100 years ago in 1924 in a small house in a modest street in Copacabana has changed the world for so many people. From its birth in 1924, a small primary school grew. 25 years later, in 1949, the school was moved from Copacabana to Botafogo. Primary children began to stay in what became a growing senior school. Significant demand for the school, especially from Brazilian families during the 19, 1980s and 1990s, encouraged us to open a unit in Urca in the year 2000. Further demand led us in 2003 to reach out to Barra da Tijuca. Today, the Barra School is already 20 years old. There is no doubt that our school has transformed the lives of hundreds of children and their families. It has changed the lives of educators and administrators too. For the opportunities our school afforded we are both indebted and very grateful. And so, we dedicate this special occasion to all those people who have helped to make this a great school, what is today. It is through the initiatives, the hard work, the collaboration, and yes, the love, that we are here to celebrate our school's 100th birthday. Let us remember all those people. Let us thank them for their loyal and dedicated service and acknowledge what they achieved for us. Whatever great learning has been happening throughout the century, one thing is evident. Our school has encouraged friendships that have lasted a lifetime. Great and enduring friendship is the most important and powerful force in our lives. The British School Rio de Janeiro as an institution and a community has become a most respected school within Brazil and beyond. We are proud of our achievements and our success, but we are humble enough to recognize that as we head into a second century, we must continue to work hard and strive for excellence in all things. On this, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. On this special day, May 23rd, 2024, we must vow to continue to hold on to and practice every day the great values we espouse. We must be adaptable and flexible and respond with positivity to the challenges of a rapidly changing world. As we must promise to endeavor to sustain the vital role of our school in the decades to follow. Without a doubt, by holding these principles and promises close to our hearts, we can dream of a very exciting future for our school. A future in which the British school, Rio de Janeiro, will continue to serve, as it has for a hundred years, the generations to come. And so, let us conclude by saying a happy hundredth birthday to the British school, Rio de Janeiro, and wishing you another century of the best possible education 
that any school can offer. Thank you. Adults and children, I have something very special to read to you. It's not often that you receive a letter from the king. So I have a letter here that has at the top, it says Buckingham Palace. Wow. So let me read you this letter from the king on our birthday. And it starts, Dear Mr. Wiseman, the king has asked me to thank you for your kind letter of greetings sent on behalf of the British school Rio de Janeiro on the occasion of your centenary week, which is being held from the 20th to the 24th of May to celebrate its 100th anniversary. His Majesty appreciated your thoughtfulness in writing as you did and values your continued support. The British school, Rio de Janeiro, has warmly welcomed visits from the members of the royal family over the years, and the king fondly remembers his own visit in 1978. His Majesty was interested in learning that the school is planning a year of commemorative activities, including the centenary week, with a street party and unveiling a commemorative plaque today on the 23rd of May. The King has asked me to convey his heartfelt grat congratulations as you mark this special milestone and send his warmest good wishes for what will surely be an enjoyable and memorable program for all concerned. Something for us all to remember. Thank you. And now I would like to invite Ms. Denise Pina as the longest educational staff member from TBS and Mr. Robson Oliveira, the longest standing administrative staff member to deliver a speech. Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed colleagues, students, and guests, it's an honor for us to be addressing you today to commemorate this momentous occasion, the centenary of the British school Rio de Janeiro. Those of us who have been at the school for over 30 years have witnessed many changes. For example, back in 1992, we had no Urca school and no Baha school. The school in Botafogo offered IGCSEs, but was only just starting the IB. Conditions were not great. The senior school was mainly in a large old house called the Ribeiro de Santos building. The Portuguese department office was in an old bathroom, and the maths department office had no windows. The door had to be left open all the time so the staff could breathe. <laughs> Urca site opened 24 years ago, and the Barra School started at a little building in Recreio, with only seven children in 2003. Setting up the IB for the first time was a real challenge, and a very steep learning curve. Barbara Potts was the first IB coordinator. We had endless meetings to discuss how the IB would work because in those early days, nobody knew exactly what we were supposed to do. We had to do a lot of learning together. The students may be surprised to hear that us teachers are constantly having to learn. 
particularly how, sorry, now, with all the new emerging technologies. Over the past 100 years, our teachers have been dedicated educators, always committed to learning and to excellence. Our aim has been to offer our students wonderful opportunities within what we call a holistic education, to explore languages and literature, science, mathematics, humanities, and the arts. Bom dia, minha família. Hoje eu tenho a honra de representar todo o departamento administrativo, incluindo porteiros, inspetores, serviços gerais, cozinheiros, manutenção, ICT, admissions e marketing, finanças, auditoria, RH, departamento pessoal, secretárias, enfermeiras e babás que trabalham ao lado do staff da Cacional para fornecer tudo o que a escola precisa. Além de tudo, a The Blitz School Rio de Janeiro é uma família, minha família. É uma família que em todos cuida um dos outros, é uma família que envolve pessoas de origem diferentes e, hoje, abrange continentes. É uma alegria todos os dias ver cada um de nós crescer e desenvolver amizades. Traz esperança, vê a extensão do respeito mútuo através de eventos desportivos, concertos, peças de teatro, serviços comunitários, viagens e festivais culturais. Olhando para trás ao longo dos anos, parece que o tempo passou tão rápido. A todos os alunos atuais e futuros pedimos que aproveite todas as oportunidades que a escola tem a oferecer para que possam descobrir quem vocês são. Encontrar seus pontos fortes e se tornarem os melhores versões de si mesmos que podem ser. Sempre ótimo era um antigo lema da escola. Ainda está conosco e nos inspira sempre a ser e fazer o nosso melhor. Well, sport has always been a cornerstone of the British school life, and there have been many successes over the years. Some memorable moments that will always stand out are December 1991, the first time our futsal boys gained a gold medal. This was in the Little Eight tournament in Sao Paulo, where we won one nil against the graded school becoming the world football champions in Santiago, Chile in 1997. The 2004 to 2007 girls volleyball team had an incredible run, remaining as champions for four consecutive years by winning the Little Eights two years in a row and then Inter Eights for two years in a row. This year has been another incredible year for sport at the British School RJ. In April, we were overall champions of the ISSL for futsal and volleyball. And then, just this weekend, we won the football national championships in both the boys and girls tournaments for the first time in the history of the school. culmination of all the hard work and dedication put in over the years and a truly fitting achievement for our 100 year anniversary. Sports, arts, music, drama, ICT, MUN, DOV, all other subjects and co-curricular activities help develop well-rounded children. Seeing students succeed in life is what matters most. The beauty of being a teacher is what you learn from your students. The students, you, help us to adapt and improve. You, students, keep every day unique and exciting. You inspire us to keep moving and keep reaching for greater success.
Para alguns de nós, funcionários de longa data, e bem longa mesmo, muitas vezes ouvimos de pessoas dizerem, uau, você tem feito a mesma coisa há tanto tempo, essas pessoas simplesmente não entendem. Trabalhar na The Blit School nunca é a mesma coisa. Ano após ano, o mesmo dia após dia. Cada ano é diferente do outro. Há mudanças contínuas e desafios diferentes, constantes. E sempre sentimos que cada novo ano será o melhor. É uma sensação maravilhosa saber que estamos fazendo a diferença na vida dos jovens. É uma grande recompensa saber que nossos alunos serão capazes de alcançar. Acredite, cada ano traz nova esperança e energia. O que todos nós aprendemos é que, para se trabalhar em uma escola, é preciso ter paixão, paixão. Pelo que fazemos e ensinamos. O aprendizado acontece melhor quando estamos tranquilos e felizes. Esta é uma coisa mais importante. Portanto, sejamos resilientes. Não desistir nunca, ajudar um ou outro, trabalhar em equipe e sejamos sempre positivos um com o outro. Não precisamos concordar com todos, mas respeitar as diferenças é fundamental. As we step into the next century, let us carry forward the values that define us. Integrity, compassion, and determination. Let us be excited about learning together, and let us develop and enjoy a thirst for knowledge. Let us continue to create a legacy that inspires future generations to dream big, think critically, and contribute meaningfully to the world. Thank you, the British School Rio de Janeiro, for a century of excellence and for the lives you have given us. May you continue to illuminate minds and shape hearts for generations to come. Hobson for this beautiful speech. I'm sure everybody's feeling very inspired. And now I would like to invite Isabel Martins, Beatriz Olimpio, Mariano Vega, and Theo Monteiro to deliver this speech on behalf of the students. As members of year 13 in the class of 2024 and year 6 in the class of 2031, we are honored to represent the students of the school on the special occasion. Turning 100 years old is not something that many humans get to experience, but it is something that, that is relatively rare amongst institutions like schools. When an institution lasts for 100 years, it is a sign that there is something special about it, that it has succeeded in meeting the needs of the population it serves, and that it has managed to adapt over time and stay ahead of the competition. As we celebrate our school's 100 year anniversary, it is worth reflecting on what life would have been for the first generations of pupils here. In 1924, there were no transatlantic flights, so anyone traveling to or from Brazil had to do it by a lengthy boat journey. There would certainly have been no New York or London trips for students. Only a tiny number of the very elite owned cars in Rio and the roads here were virtually traffic free, a far cry from today. Children at TBS would certainly not have been able to use traffic jams as a reason to be late to school. Television was still just an experiment in a few scientific laboratories, so no videos would have been used in the lessons. The very thought of using a personal computer, let alone having lessons online during a pandemic, would have been considered science fiction. What is possibly more interesting about our centenary are certain aspects of TBS that seem to have endured over a hundred years, even though despite we have faced many social and technological changes. When speaking to alumni, many of whom are now themselves parents, grandparents, and even great-grandparents, their fondest memories mirror the very things that we have cherished in our years as members of TBS. Friendships forged in the classroom and the playground, being inspired by a teacher, 
competing for the Falcons, performing on stage or house competitions, the trips, but above all else, the caring community that brings us together as students and teachers, the community that truly makes us TBS. It is possible that with advances in modern healthcare, some people here will live to see the 200 year anniversary of TBS RJ. Though I doubt any of us will be playing uh, in the talent show in 2124. Is anyone's guess what this school will look like then? Or even whether the TBS students of the future will be taught by humans or robots? But hopefully, we will still hear the things that we love about our school in the stories told by students. The same stories of friendships, inspirational lessons, and life-changing experiences. Thank you very much to our students for coming and talking to us about their experiences at TBS. On this special day, May 23rd, 2024, we must vow to continue to hold on to and practice every day the great values we espouse. We must be adaptable and flexible and respond with positivity to the challenges of a rapidly changing world. And we must promise to endeavour to sustain the vital role of our school in the decades to follow. Without a doubt, by holding these principles and promises close to our hearts, we can dream of a very exciting future for our school. A future in which the British School Rio de Janeiro will continue to serve as it has for hundreds, hundreds of years, the generations to come. And so, let's conclude by saying a happy 100th birthday to the British School Rio de Janeiro and wishing you another century of the best possible education that any school can offer. Then in Portuguese. One, two, three. Hip hip! 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 Hip h